Hello, my name is Danny Sura and you're watching Breaking Into Bollywood. Dum Chakas. How are we all doing? Welcome to the next episode. For those of you who are watching for the first time, a quick recap. So my name is Danny Sura. I'm a British Asian actor from Birmingham. Moved to Mumbai in 2011 to become an actor in the Bollywood film industry. So since being here, I've worked in movies. Sure. TV. It's just Web series. I was just thinking about you. Commercials. Bachche, tasveeron mein bade ho jaate hain. Years se baad ghar aate hain. And I've done a lot of lot of theatre. How did I catch the acting bug? Watching Amitabh Bachchan films from a young age. Dinana John. So the look of this episode is a little bit different. As you can tell, I'm filming outside. The reason being, I've been cooped up in my flat for ages. The weather's great, the sun is out. So I thought, why not share a bit of sunshine with you all? Okay, so let's get to it. This episode is about my first paid gig that I did in Mumbai. Cue archive footage. Hello everyone, uh, I'm going for my first shoot today, which is in uh, Mud Island in Mumbai, about uh, an hour or so away from here. Uh, it's for Channel V, it's basically uh, a promo for one of their shows. Uh, so yeah, quite excited, my first paid job in India. Uh, the pay is not that much to be honest with you, but it's for the experience and uh, it's quite a funny promo that uh, I'm going to be acting in. So like I said, the pay wasn't much, but honestly at this point, that wasn't important. What was important was for me to get my face out there and to get a bit of exposure. So the shoot happened in a place called Mud Island, uh, which is in the northern part of Mumbai. It's made up of lovely fishing villages uh, and a lot of farmland. And it was a mission from where I was staying. By car, it took about, what, almost two hours. Whoa, I gotta show you all this. It's right by the, the sea. But obviously it's called Mud Island, isn't it? So it has to be an island or something. But check it out. The best way to get directions, especially when you're new in Mumbai, is not to use Google Maps, but to ask rickshaw drivers. They are the most reliable. Uh, uh, but yeah, mm. please. Signal left. right. Okay, thank you, Vidya. I found out much later that there's a place called Versova Jetty, and the jetties there can take you to Mud Island in under 10 minutes. So I drove like a plonker for two hours for no reason. Why didn't anyone tell me about this before? I remember reaching the location. I was a bit nervous, you know, I saw all these production people there, the assistant directors, you know, uh, the DOP, they were setting the camera up, you know, you had all the makeup assistants and the costume people all running around. And I thought, yeah, Dan, you finally arrived. Okay, well, uh, I found the place. Uh, there must be some rich people that live here because the bungalows are massive. And uh, yeah, the, the bungalows are very, very nice. And it's just right by the sea as well. So uh, either they use it for filming or it's actually people's houses. Go check it out. Got like palm trees here as well. Okay, just spoken to production people and they told me to wait in the uh, vanity van because I'm a bit uh, early and uh, yeah, it's just like um, the, the normal um, vans that actors use in England and stuff you know, where they're just sitting and chilling until they're called for the shot uh, and it's like about 20 other men in there so hopefully I won't get attacked or anything so I'm just going to go in now So the funny thing is, your level of fame determines how many people you're going to share the vanity van with If you're an established actor you're gonna get a van all to yourself. If you're not, then expect to be sharing with about five, six people. 
So I'm sitting with the Vanti van with the two new friends that I've made. Vikrantji and sorry sir, boss. Yogi Raj. Yogi Raj. I. Hello. And basically, he's doing. They were both doing promos uh, for Channel V. Vikrant's doing a, a good one where he's basically got smacked by a lady. Uh, playing coach, his oldest coach. Oldest coach. And he's wearing a skirt. And he's wearing a skirt. I'm wearing a skirt. Also. <laughs> Not right now. Right Not right now. Very, very, very nice jeans. So basically, as you can all see, I've got a lot of hair on my chest and everything. And I did ask them if I needed to be waxed, but no one got back to me. But now they do want me to wax up and uh, shave my chest hair and everything. Uh, but I refuse politely to use a, a shaver because that comes back with stubble. So they sorted out a trimmer, so now I'm going to trim it all off. Okay, so I'm going to be shaving my chest now. Okay, so finished my first day shooting, uh, my first job in India. As you can see, I've got all the hair off my chest and everything now, so it went really well. And that's it, time to go home and eat some non veg food. <laughs> you know, the shoot went really well, I was very, very comfortable. I think just being on set and you know, realizing that yeah, my dream is coming true, I'm getting towards my goal, made all the difference in the world. Right, so here you go, check out the end result for yourself. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, uh, I think this one was a bit short and sweet. Uh, please leave a comment uh, below uh, and please do connect with me on Instagram and Twitter. As always, I'm going to leave my uh, social media handles at the end. And yeah, subscribe to my channel, share it, please spread the word. Your feedback is very valuable to me. So if there's anything I can improve, uh, please just share your ideas with me and I'll do my best to incorporate them. So on the next episode of Breaking Into Bollywood, I'm going to share with you how I got onto the theatre circuit in Mumbai and uh, how my long working relationship began with the ravishing and dashing Mrs. Lilette Dubey. Stay tuned, it's going to be a cracker of an episode. This is Danny Sura and you're watching me on Breaking Into Bollywood. But before I go, I'm going to leave you with something a bit disturbing.